Defining and Saving User Coordinate System UCS Open one bit template that was created in article Creating a New Template. Click the View menu and select Named Views. This opens the View Manager dialog box. Select SE Isometric, click the Set Current button and click the Apply button. Click the OK button. Until now you worked only with the coordinate system and defined all coordinates and displacement relative to a single point to origin. Draw the box that shown on the screen. The square at the base of the coordinate system icon indicates that you are working in the WCS World Coordinate System. The UCS is nothing more than a new point of origin and a new orientation for the X, Y, Z axis. Now you will define an UCS in the plane of the top of the box. Make sure that the object snap button is turned on. Click the tools menu, select new UCS, select origin. Etiquette prompts Specify new origin point. Click the top left corner of the box. The square is gone from the icon, indicating that you are no longer in the WCS. The UCS you have just created make it easy to draw and edit entities that are in the plane of the top of the box and to perform editing in planes that parallel to it, such as the bottom. Now you have to save the result of your work. Click the Tools menu and select named UCS. This opens the UCS dialog box with highlighted unnamed edit box. Type top and press Enter. Click the OK button. Now you will create another one UCS using the 3D point option. Click the tools menu, select new UCS and select 3 point. AutoCAD prompts specify new origin point. Click the bottom left corner of the box. AutoCAD prompts specify point on positive portion of X axis. Pick the point as shown on the screen. AutoCAD prompts specify point on positive Y portion of the UCS XY plane. Pick the point as shown on the screen. Notice that the coordinate system icon has rotated along with the grid and move to the new origin as well. This UCS is convenient for drawing and editing in the left plane of the box or editing in any plane parallel to the left plane, such as the back plane. Now you have to save the result of your work. Click the Tools menu and select named UCS. This opens the UCS dialog box with highlighted unnamed edit box. Type left and press enter. Click the OK button. Now you will create another one UCS. Click the Tools menu, select New UCS and select Origin. AutoCAD prompts specify new origin point. Click the bottom front left corner of the box. Press the space bar to repeat the UCS command. 
AutoCAD prompts specify a region of UCS. Type Y and press Enter. AutoCAD prompts specify rotation angle about Y axis. Type 90 and press Enter. The UCS is created. Now you have to save the result of your work. Click the Tools menu and select named UCS. This opens the UCS dialog box with highlighted unnamed edit box. Type right and press Enter. Click the OK button.